Greetings. Today is Friday, November the 23rd, 2018. It's Black Friday. I've already done a commentary on Black Friday. You can hear it on MeWe. <laughs> That's the only place you'll hear that. This is a supplemental uh, supplemental commentary for today. I call it where Rush Limbaugh fears to trot. Uh, Rush Limbaugh is a very popular guy. He's, you know, and uh, he's probably going to remain popular. I don't think I'm going to supplant his popularity anytime soon. But the fact is, he does not tell the truth about everything. For example, he's not going to tell you the truth about uh, the USS Liberty. What happened to the USS Liberty? He's not going to tell you the truth about what happened to Rachel Corey. He's probably not going to tell you the truth about forced vaccinations. He's probably not going to tell you the truth about 9-11. Yes, there are alternative explanations of what happened on 9-11. You're not going to hear them from Rush Limbaugh. You're going to hear them from me. What about the assassination of John F. Kennedy? Remember the one bullet theory? Now you think about that. All that one bullet supposedly did? Crazy. Of course, it came from Arlen Specter. What do you expect? Not like It's not like he was a, a, a bright bulb anywhere. And he was a lawyer. <laughs> no, Rush Limbaugh's never, not going to tell you the truth because he's not paid to tell you the truth. He's paid to do exactly what he does. Be a water boy for the Republican Party. I mean, it, you know, if he's not a water boy for the Republican Party, why doesn't he tell you the truth about Donald Trump? Why doesn't he tell you the truth about immigration and how immigration is unconstitutional? Well, immigration law is unconstitutional. You don't hear the truth from any conservative talkers out there. In fact, you probably don't hear the truth from liberal talkers out there either. I am an independent. I am not partisan in any way. I am convinced that George Washington was right in his farewell address when he warned us uh, about political parties and how it would cause division and you know and he was certainly right he was right and I think we need to heed his warning and get rid of political parties anyway but these are things that you're not going to hear from Rush Limbaugh these are and you're not going to hear from Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or any conservative talker out there the USS Liberty was attacked by Israel on June 8th 1967 Israel committed an act of war against the United States and what did we do what did the Johnson administration do he patted them on the back in fact Johnson's was hoping that the ship was sunk and all hands on board now those uh, w w were were drowned but you don't hear this from any place else and I'll give you proof if you need proof, you know, I mean, there's a documentary by BBC about what happened to the USS Liberty. You can go see it. Go to YouTube. Look it up. Rachel Corey was murdered by Israel. 
You're not going to hear the truth about that on Rush Limbaugh or Sean Hannity. You're not going to hear the truth about 9-11. Now, come on, folks. You think about it. You talk, show me any Islamic country that had the wherewithal to do what happened on 9-11. They didn't. They just didn't. They didn't have the technology. And, of course, you're not going to hear any more about the, the five uh, Mossad agents that were cheering what happened on 9-11. Now, Fox News reported that at the time, but now, where's the video? Oh, somebody has the video somewhere, and you can go find it on YouTube. Maybe. You see, we have a government that does not want you to know the truth about what happened to Kennedy, what happened to the USS Liberty, what happened to Rachel Corey, or what happened on 9-11. And Rush Limbaugh and all other conservative talkers are playing into that. Well, they're being paid not to tell the truth. And they get paid big bucks not to tell the truth. So, folks, I think you need to listen to my commentary either on MeWe or on SoundCloud and listen to the truth for a change. It's time the American people know the truth about everything. Your government is not telling it to you. Conservative talkers are not telling you the, the truth. They're not telling you the truth about immigration laws. They're not telling you the truth about health care. They're not telling you the truth about the economy. They want you to believe that the economy is doing great because Donald Trump is our president and he's a Republican and he's a, a sound businessman. But the economy is not doing all that great. Just look at your neighbors. You know, I know people that have to have two or three jobs just to make ends meet. So the economy is not doing better under Donald Trump. I don't care what anybody says. The conservative talkers are lying through their teeth. I don't have to lie through my teeth. I don't have any. <laughs> well, I, I have a few left. I can't afford a, a dentist, so hey, anyway. Can you imagine what it's like to, for, for me to look at myself in the mirror? Hey, don't smile at me, the mirror says. <laughs> anyway, okay, I, a little humor now and then doesn't hurt. So you're going to hear things on my commentary that you're probably not going to hear anywhere else. Certainly not from Rush Limbaugh. The man is a liar. Well, he may not be a liar. He just won't tell you the whole truth. He tells you the truth about Democrats. He tells you the truth about liberals. But he will not tell you the truth about these so-called conservatives. The neo-conservatives. I mean, there was a time when Conservatives believed in less taxes and less, you know, less, uh, less government. Today, conservatives do not believe in those things. I mean, we've had two years of conservative rule. Do, do we have less government? No. Do we have less taxes? Some do. But the people at the low end of the tax bracket does not have lower taxes. The, the wealthiest among us got a greater tax break than what the low-income people have. And if you don't believe me, look it up. 
Go look at the the graduated tax rate, and you show me who has who's got the biggest tax break. It certainly wasn't low income people. That's the truth, and you're not going to hear the truth from Rush Limbaugh. Donald Trump tells him what to say, and he says it. Well, anyway, he's not paid to tell the truth. He's paid to support Republicans and the so-called conservatives. Well, anyway, so I'm going to tell you things where Rush Limbaugh fears to trot. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time I see you.